What is up guys and welcome back. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 video and for today's video we seem to have all but a confirmation for Combat Pack 3 and this comes straight from some of the voice actors in MK11. But anyways before we get into any of that, like always be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so I'm sure a lot of you already know about some of these but basically what's been happening lately, recently, like literally in the past week is some of the voice actors from MK11 have been posting themselves on social media once again recording something and no one knows what it is and I've kind of like started looking into it, doing some research and see what I could find and I'm pretty sure it's safe to say more than likely it is for a combat pack 3 so anyways enough talking let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about so first up we have the Koto Khan voice actor which I believe is the most recent one posting that image of himself recording then we have Richard Epcar, the voice actor for Raiden and Joker in MK11, who posted this image of him recording something. And then lastly, we have Carrie Walgreen, the voice actor for both Melina and Katana, um, with this image of her once again recording something. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people are saying. Oh yeah, these are voice actors. They, they do all types of stuff. It's not just MK, right? It's movies, TV shows. And yes, that's true. So that's why I looked into it to see who has any upcoming projects in this year, 2021. And the only one that I found that had any type of upcoming projects, which is a TV show in this in this case, was Carrie Walgreen, the voice actor of Melina and Katana. She has a Netflix show that she does that is getting a new season this year, I believe. So her, you could kind of understand that maybe, yes, she is not doing some Mortal Kombat related stuff in that image. But then again, maybe she is because what are the chances that the Raiden and Joker voice actor, the Koto Khan voice actor, and the Melina and Katana voice actor all have something at the same time happening? Because all these images, guys, have been posted literally in the last week. What are the chances that they all have something new at the same time happening? Literally almost nothing, especially since the only one who has something confirmed to come out this year is uh, Carrie. So... I don't know guys, it would be either the world's biggest coincidence or they are recording voice lines for their characters interacting with the new characters that we will be getting hopefully in Combat Pack 3. So I'm pretty sure guys, like I said, it's safe to say that we are indeed getting a Combat Pack 3. The only one out of the bunch who has any type of upcoming projects is Carrie and even then um, it would be weird timing because you know, the Raiden voice actor, Koto Khan voice actor and her all doing it at the same time it's just too big of a coincidence and i myself personally don't really believe in coincidences at least not one so specific like if maybe it was just the raiden voice actor and uh the melina voice actor okay sure but with the koto Khan voice actor like dude what are the chances i don't know guys i honestly believe we are indeed getting a combat pack 3 and that right now these people are recording voice lines with their characters interacting with the new characters to come however i could be wrong i don't know i could definitely be wrong it's just my honest thoughts on the case but i don't know guys let's just keep our fingers crossed hope we get a combat pack 3 and with that being said let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below and for now let's get to the comments of the day so first up we have I bet it's coming out near the date the movie gets released. It would make perfect sense. Uh, he's referring to a the Combat Pack 3, a supposed Combat Pack 3. So he believes that it would make sense to get Combat Pack 3 near the time of the movie's release, the Mortal Kombat movie, which gets released on April 16th. And I do agree, I definitely think that makes sense. However, I think we should get a reveal in March. And this month that we just started, I think a reveal for the next Combat Pack would be due and then the release date right around the movie when it comes out that, that's my best best case scenario hopefully it happens i don't know anyways next up we have had a weird dream that sub-zero was in in the news in the new snyder cut justice league trailer no he wasn't and that's definitely not gonna happen there's no way they're gonna make some mortal kombat movie universe with the justice league or dc uh movie universe there's no way that is happening I mean, if it does, that would be amazing. Imagine us getting a real live-action Mortal Kombat vs. DC movie. That would be insane, but I promise you that's not going to happen. Like, you just... It's like, you know, you, you just know some things aren't going to happen. Like, Marvel vs. DC, uh, there's no way we're ever getting, like, a movie of that. As amazing as it would be, that's not just not going to happen. And lastly, we have... 
All I know is if a leak by the thingy or whatever his name was, the guy who went in the files and found Compact 2, I'm believing it. Well, I have news for you man, the thinny, who was the guy who found the Compact 2 in the files, is not a leaker. He has never leaked anything in his life. He is a data miner. That means that he goes into the game's files and he can see the things in the game files. Which, if you yourself wanted to learn, you could do that pretty simply, I'm guessing. So, no, the thinny is not a leaker. For anyone who says, oh, I only believe leaks by the thinny, the thinny is not a leaker. He is a data miner, which, like I said, if you put in some work, you could learn to do that yourself. It's not really the hardest thing in the world. So, yeah, guys, the thinny is not a leaker. Um, what he does is data mine, and yeah, obviously what he finds is real because he found it in the game's files. A leaker is someone who has information that no one else really has, you know? Like someone who works at NRS or something like that. That's what a leaker is. But the thinny himself is not a leaker and has never leaked anything. But anyway guys, that will be for this video. Like always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. Other than that, be sure to say subscribe for more videos just like this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't enjoy. Thanks for watching and peace.